this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down the best U-Trips defense in Madden. Now, U-Trips is one of those formations you don't see a ton in Madden 22, but when you do, I will say that it's one of the most difficult formations to consistently defend. Me, you've got Bunch and Bunch tight end are your top two. Then you have the tight slots, and then for sure, you've either got Trips tight end or U-Trips is that like top five offense. So today we're going to be walking you through step by step how you can defend the trips tight end or the I'm sorry the U trips formation out of the New England playbook. Now if you're new to the channel and you have not hit the subscribe button yet, I would really ask that you would consider doing that. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Also want to let you know just real quick that if you're not if you've not joined the Patreon membership yet, that is only $10 a month, and the cool part about that is it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, as well as any updates or new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. We typically update the membership probably three to four times a week as well with new material, whether it be new tweaks or new updates to eBooks. And again, it's super cheap, only $10 a month. Right now, we've got 18 offensive and defensive ebooks so you can literally get access to all of it for just 10 bucks so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below and it's literally you can be a member as long or as short as you want to but i truly think it's going to be a great way that can help you become a better player now i'm in the 46 playbook and i'm talking specifically about a coverage that i want to talk about out of cover four show two this is by far my favorite defense right now the cover four show two not primarily for pressure purposes. People ask me, should you run wide or triple? I've got ebooks on both of those defenses. Um, the reason that I would tell you to run 335 wide is not because you get better pressure from 335 wide or that you have better run defense or that you get better sheds. The reason I tell people to run 335 wide is because of the adjustments and the way that you can really um, have the best personnel possible on the field. As you see here, I'm subbing in uh, some safeties at the linebacker position. The other reason I like to run this a lot is because I can cross man my uh, linebackers, my safeties um, that are linebackers. I can cross man them on anyone on the field. So those are two major reasons why I really like 335 wide um, from a coverage perspective. It just has all of the tools in the, in the tool belt for coverage purposes, in my opinion. Nickel normal, a, a very close second to that, in my opinion. Okay, so um, what we're going to do first is we're going to audible to cover for show two. Once we do this, <laughs> once we do this, very, very important. Okay, very, very important. You have to ask yourself who's the biggest threat and where is he at. So it's actually a real simple coverage for uh, U trips. All we're going to do here is I like to go ahead and I always spread my linebackers. It just helps significantly if you need to deal with. The run or with the mobile quarterback, just shift, spreading your linebackers is very helpful. Please do not spread your defensive line. That is not helpful. It's actually a hindrance, especially against the run. You want to spread your linebackers, but do not spread your line. Okay? Then blitz your user, crash your line up, and of course, we press coverage. So that's kind of your basic coverage or your basic look that you've got. Now, from here, we've got some stuff that we're going to work with, but to be honest, it's actually a real simple coverage. We're going to shade our coverage over the top. What that's going to do is it's going to turn these outside guys that are in quarter flats. They're now going to play curl flat, curl to flat coverage, which means they're going to stop things like motion slants. They're going to stop things like curl routes. They're going to stop things like shorter corner routes, shorter post crossers. Um, very good for the underneath stuff, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end that is on the same side as the running back. It has to be the left side guy because you're going to see why in just a second. But bluff blitz him, and then after you bluff, bluff blitz him, make sure you pass commit. Last step, we're going to take this defender right here, Black. And I like to man him up on the tight end. However, you don't have to. You could put him in a curl flat and man this guy up on the slot. But I like to just man him up on the tight end. So that way I know at least I've got a guy that's going to hang with the tight end wherever he goes. And then like on a deep post or something like that. And then you're going to be using right in here. Now, if you wanted to man up this backside guy, you could do that. Um, I don't typically do that. The reason why is because a lot of times U trips will most the motion across, um, and I'd rather just leave it as it is because when they do go to a motion, then um, you know we're going to be pretty much exactly what you see right here. So 
let's just go with like a basic coverage or concept here y option wheel uh, snap the ball here you're going to see that that three rec is going to go to the running back typically in practice mode for whatever reason it doesn't but you do see we get really nice match coverage across the middle um, on that on that post so let me let me show you that real quick so again literally just shade up man up there bluff blitz and pass commit there it is done y option wheel you see here you're lurking here notice he follows all the way across the formation you can help shadow that as well with your user now another popular setup from this is you're going to see a lot of this you're going to get this guy on a flat this tight end is going to be on an out and then they're going to motion this guy to the left now when they do that really important really really important um, we've set our coverage up like this okay so we've already set this up this is how the base setup is what you're gonna you really need to pay attention here because what you should see here is the flat should be left alone you shouldn't get anything on the flat what I like to do in this scenario is back off the coverage on the outside receivers. I think it's very helpful uh, for the way we're, we're going to work here. You can leave it pressed up. But I just think it's very helpful to not have it pressed. And what you'll see here is the, the wheel will get actually get matched by the outside quarter on that left side. And then the crow flat is still there to handle, uh, to handle that route. So if you just, I mean, you could do something honestly as simple as just don't press. I mean, you could just easily just not press it, and you'll be fine here. This three rec normally will go. Let me shift the line over this direction um, to just help the three rec get out there a little bit more. But he'll typically cover the running back uh, on a play like this. So if you motion here, notice you're going to see that they're not going to jam, and that's perfect. We don't want them to jam. But what you'll see how he guards the running back. See that right there? And now you can't really throw that ball. It's one of the best wheel routes in Madden 22. You can't really throw it. Okay. Uh, the next concept is this. This is curl flat. This is a very, very good play. And what you'll notice here is, by and large, we're going to be in a really good spot to be able to defend most of it. So you can shift your line to the to the running back side just to help a little bit defending him. And then, again, this is your adjustments. What you're going to notice on curl flat, you have one responsibility, and that's your post. So you just take the post all the way across the formation, and as you see, it's very, very good defense. You typically don't have to worry about crossers from left to right. It's more from right to left. Now, when they do motion across, please be aware that it does. It, it is now a two by two spread. It's not trips right. It's two by two spread, which does change the rules slightly. It just means that this safety needs to stay in an inside quarter if you motion. If you don't motion, if they don't motion out of this, okay. Let's say they don't motion. It's a it's a different type of defense here, but there is some additional things we can do. So if they're staying in trips like this, okay, you have to understand this safety can do whatever you want, okay? So if you want, let's say, for example, they're killing you with, um, you know, like a little little post to this, uh, to this inside guy. Well, you can man him up on him. You can man him up on him, get a double team here with you trips. This is often how it goes. They're going to try to work that solo receiver a lot. Now we got bracketed double coverage across the formation. You know, you could do something like that. Another thing that you could do is a cool little cross man adjustment. This is one of the many reasons why I like this coverage so much. So again, remember we have our shady coverage up. We've got our bluff blitz over here, but now what we can do is we can again use some cross manning. So we can take this backside linebacker black, man him up onto that solo receiver so that when he comes across, he's gonna kind of cross man. And then now you could also do the, the safety, for example, he could be in man coverage on the tight end. And now you have a nice little coverage here that's pretty dang effective because you still got the purples, by the way. But notice that cross man, now he's got really good inside leverage. It just makes that throw a little bit more difficult. So the beauty of this is it can stop a lot of the stuff that people like to do out of this formation. Um, let me go over another concept. This is tight end whip. This is a very popular play, um, especially if you're going to run a lot of match. Uh, you'll get a lot of this concept. So again, we're just manning this guy up. But the beauty of this is, whoops, I'm in the wrong coverage. Um, the beauty of this is that we have this guy manned up on the tight end. Okay, so now what you've got, typically speaking, you're going to get this. Um, I mean, you can get it a lot of different ways. Honestly, I get a lot of this where we got a flat to clear out the routes. We got this option route. And then over here, we could get a number of things 
um, as far as a route combination. There's a lot that they can do, but it generally is going to be around this kind of core little base couple things. So anyways, the point is you can help right here. This is where this route gets open. So you can help here and then peel, and now you've got this concept completely locked down. Another concept they're going to go to, especially when they recognize that you are in uh, quarters coverage, they are going to skinny post this outside receiver and try to get him, uh, they're going to try to get him one-on-one. -on -one. So typically what you'll get is you'll get something like this. With a, you'll get something like this right here. You might get a post and a corner, and then you, you probably something like this. This is a very uh, good concept for quarters. So I want you to pay attention here to a little bit of how we're going to handle this. First and foremost, uh, the shading over top is very helpful. Um, and then also, you're in the middle of the field. So if there's nothing underneath that's requiring your attention, you can feel free to bail back. Um, if you are getting a lot of that, then instead of cross baiting here, vert hook. That vert hook is very helpful. Um, so you can either man or, or do that. I like you could even go vert hook here for the whip, and then you could go with a cross man onto the tight end, something like this. Okay. But again, um, this is just a basic concept. But what you'll typically get with this, because we have the tight end and man coverage, your quarter zones are more free to adapt to this post. So you see, if you watch here, you'll see you get a double team on the post and it's borderline impossible for that route to beat you over the top. Now let's say they try to really flood you, which is very possible. Um, what you might get is you might get a concept that looks like this, where you got a wheel, you got a slant, and then you got a streak. This is a very good one play score type of concept. Remember, we're man up here, okay? But we're now in traditional quarters, okay? You gotta think about this for just a second. This safety, is the guy with the most freedom, but it doesn't mean he's just gonna automatically stop stuff. However, I want you to remember that what do we typically see, um, what do we typically see out of these curl flats? Well, they're really good against slants. So if you have a slant coming, you can easily let that go. It's manned up and it's got a guy, and then you're just bailing back to this post and there's nothing, there's nothing for it. So this is a very, very effective U-trips style uh, or way to defend a lot of what U-trips does. Doesn't fit everything by any means, but this is a start. If you want the more in-depth version of this defense, I got a full 46 ebook in my Patreon membership. We're working right now. We did a major update to it last week, and we're working through a, a series of updates that are going to be happening over the course of the next week or so, where we're really going to put a ton. Uh, in there for you for this coverage and really expand upon it. I'm actually super, super pumped up because I find this being the best coverage in Madden and it's just in terms of not be, not just because it's quarters, but because of some of the adjustments you're able to do only from 335 wide is what makes it so special. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to uh, join the Patreon, super cheap way to get better at Madden. $10 a month unlocks everything over there. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. It's also a great way to support me as a creator. So I really appreciate all of you guys that have joined that membership. It has really helped me a lot. And uh, we'll just continue to keep cranking on that. So thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the membership, there's a link in the description below.